Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in this part of the world. Mark here again from the Retired Affiliates. And in today's video tutorial, um, we're going to look at creating YouTube thumbnails in Canva. Uh, so look, I won't, um, I won't mess around here. I was going to, no, actually I would. I said I wouldn't, but I'm going to. Just to introduce you to my two bo bogs, two dogs in the background here. Uh, this old girl here. Nala, my black lab, she's uh, 13 and a half now. Um, and the young pup in the background, that's uh, Saffron, my mastiff, she's two and a half. Uh, this one's terrible. All right, I could carry on and on about these two, but that's not what today's uh, tutorial is about. Uh, today we're going to look at uh, creating YouTube thumbnails in Canva. Actually, no, stop. I, before I go on, if, if you've watched one of my some of my previous videos or my earlier videos and look I've only I'm not a seasoned YouTuber um, I did say in the very beginning I'm going to, I'm going to keep it real I'm going to be as yes yeah, as, as real as I can on, on, on camera so you know my tutorials and lessons while I'll try and cover as much as I can I'm also going to keep it very natural and, and real so introducing my dogs in the middle of a tutorial um, if you continue to follow me and subscribe to my channel, you'll see a lot of that, uh, that, um, what do you call it? Uh, natural behaviours, uh, ad-libbing, um, going off track. Uh, so bear with me. But anyway, we'll, uh, enough of that. We'll get on to our, um, our tutorial. I nearly forgot what I was talking about then. All right. So what we're going to do is we'll come over to our trusty old Google and just to remind everybody, because I might have lost you with the dog things, we're actually going to do how to use Canva to create YouTube thumbnails. Okay, so Canva, type in canva.com. This will bring you to your home page. Um, heaps of different things you can do through this home page. Uh, I am probably six weeks into using Canva, so I'm still getting my head around it all. Very confident with the YouTube thumbnails and a couple of other bits and pieces, uh, which is why I decided to do this this kind of tutorial for, I guess, newbies, people like myself that probably haven't had a lot to do with Canva um, and don't want to get into all the, you know, the advanced stuff or, you know, just getting their feet wet. If if you want to, if you're somebody that's kind of clicked on this video and you're thinking, yeah, no, this is going to be a little bit basic for me. I really would like to know a little bit more. Good mate of mine, uh, Bitly G, uh, with another member of Wealthy Affiliate, um, which is where I've learnt all about my marketing. Um, he is a Canva guru. Uh, if you want to have a look at some of his work, or you'd like to kind of really learn some, you know, to take your Canva to the next level, um, I'll leave a link down below uh, to Bitly G's. Uh, what's it, Bitly G's profile um, and yeah have a look at what he does and it, well worth looking at so anyway again as I said <laughs> see I said before I go off track with things well there you go I did it again so anyway, back to what we were talking about so we're going to create a blank here once we hit create blank this here is our blank screen or what we call our canvas now as I said, what we're doing here is we're going to create a thumbnail a re a re sorry, a re around how to use Canva um, to create a YouTube thumbnail. So if I come over here to Photos, because obviously I want to fill this, this blank screen up here. So I come over to Photos, and I've kind of cheated a little bit uh, beforehand. I've created a couple of other pins around training and and that kind of thing. So I've already got a recently used one here. Um, all I did though, obviously, when, when I was looking at doing, you know, a how to, a create a, uh, and, it's, and then I added in YouTube in, in all my keyword research is that I want to try and find a classroom setting. Um, so what I did in here, I just put, I think it was typed in training school. Um, and this was kind of the image I came up with. So, I would drag that into my canvas, obviously, 
Um, and now why did I pick this photo? As I said, it's a create, a learn, those are the kind of words that I'm looking at. Create, learn, learn in a classroom, create, you know, photography's creative. Uh, YouTube, kind of the, the lighting and everything. So that's that's kind of what landed me on this picture. Um, so just remember that when you're trying to find that picture, you want that picture to be relative to what your your keywords are, or your or your or your, your your image should be about yeah your your product, your service, whatever it is that you're promoting with your with your heading, which we'll add in here shortly. So. Obviously, I, I don't want it like that because I'm losing, you know, I'm not even, I'm not utilizing, I should say, the whole of the canvas. So you've got all the, you've got the white drag markers here, you've got these ones here. So what I'll do is I'll drag that up to the top first off, pull this down to the bottom a little bit, and then pull that over to the left, the right, whatever you guys are doing up there. And that, that way. Now, at the moment, see, I've lost a bit of this, uh, this screen up here. So what I'll do is I'll just hold my mouse, mouse button down, drag that down a little bit, and pull that up, drag it down a little bit more, pull that up. So I've got that full screen in. Um, and then what I want to do is I just want to drag that up there, pull that down, and then pull that up a little bit more. There we go. So now I've nicely fitted that into um, our canvas here keeping in what I wanted to keep in. Um, yes, look, I've cut a little bit of the front chair legs off, but that, that kind of brings you into, into what this thumbnail is going to be titled. Once I've done that, I'm going to come over here and I'm going to hit the elements. Now, what I want to do is I want to throw something in there. Where I'm going to write my title, um, I want something in there that's going to kind of bring that title out a little bit. So, a little bit. so what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag this one over here. And we'll line that up in this, about this corner here. We'll just resize that to about there, I think. Drag that across. Now I always make this part here, our uh, title back, black, background black. Now you're probably thinking, well, if you make it black, I'm not going to see all the stuff that I just kind of faffled around to get it right. So what you then do is you come up to this, uh, it looks like a racing checkered flag, transparency. And you click on that. Now you'll see this slider here. At the moment it's at 100. That meaning that there is no transparency to it. But if you watch as I bring this slider down, you start to see more and more of that background picture. Obviously if I brought it all the way down to zero, you'll see everything. All the way back up to black, there's nothing. So I like to normally keep it in around that 50. Uh, that way then you, you can still see the image behind. Click out of that. There you go. See, as I said, you can still see that image. Next thing I want to do is I want to add a bit of text in there. Obviously the, the heading being that text. So I'll come over to here, click text, add heading. I'm going to drag that heading up to the top corner there. Bring that across to here. Now, up to you, but I personally like to use Norwester. And the reason being, uh, as I said, Earlier on, Bitly G is the Canva and look, marketing guru, um, great bloke. He uses this for his sites. I've started to use it for a lot of my sites just because I like the way that uh, what you can do with this font, and, and you'll see in a minute. Um, and yeah, just it, it, it suited one of my websites, so I'll stick with it. So our title, what are we going to? We'll call our title um, how to. Use Canva uh, to create a YouTube thumbnail. And as you can see there, I've, I've still got a little bit of excess that, that, that shading I've put behind. So I'll just click there and I'll bring that up so as it nicely sits in. Just just below that, that last part of the, um, the heading. Uh, so there we go. Now what I'm going to do now is, and this is where I'm going to show you how to make it pop a little bit, is I'm going to add a heading again. We'll drag that up into that top corner there where we started our last heading. We'll spread that right out to here where we finished. 
And remember, we went for the Norwester 90. Why? Because Little Ig uses Norwester 90. <laughs> All right, so same again. I'm going to type out the exact same heading. So what was that? How? What was that? How to use Canva to create a new what have I missed off here? I've misspelled something because that should all line up. Uh, let's have a look. So I like that. Oh, there we go. Thumbnail. Rather than thumb nail, I've got thumb nail. Let's see, whack a B in there. And that's all lined up. Now you're thinking, well, what's so great about black on black that I don't get it? But if I come up here and I change this text color to white, click out of that, and now you're thinking, okay, well now you've just changed your black to white. But remember how I was saying that I use this method just kind of make that that, that heading pop a little bit. Um, what I can do now is if I click in there, and if you go to your keyboard with the up and down arrows if i start clicking right see how that black lettering starts to pop out from behind it's come down a little bit see what i mean it, it kind of gives you that 3d effect and it's it's popped just a basic you know basic heading out to to really stand out um if i click out of that and, and that's your youtube thumbnail now what i would obviously do then is i'd come up here now with when you're Creating thumbnails for YouTube, your heading up here, it really doesn't matter. I could, I could put la 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 in there, um, download it to YouTube and put, wouldn't, wouldn't matter. This is only important to use these, these keywords within your heading. If you were, if you're going to download this to, um, one of your blog posts or, you know, a, a pamphlet or a Facebook post or something like that, whereas, you know, Google actually uses the heading that you've got that image within its search engines. So for here, I'll just put, um, yeah, topic one. Um, then come to here, where you go download, click download. Now what you want to do is you want to get the best possible image you can for your YouTube thumbnail. Um, and that best possible image is the PNG. Um, when you're downloading in PNG, I, I don't know why it is, and look, anybody out there that's watching this and knows the answer, please give it to us. But when you go to save this thumbnail, um, when you're when you're setting up your video and getting ready to, to, to publish it, it won't let you save it if this is on one. You bring it down to 0.5 and download and, and then publish it, download it and then obviously upload it to your, to your YouTube thumbnail, as a YouTube thumbnail, it's fine. So then we just click download. And as you can see, that's downloaded now. So that's that's basically a quick rundown of, of how you would create a thumbnail for your YouTube channel. Um, look, I've learned a lot, uh, as I said, through Vitaly. Um, and he is a, he, he's one of the members down at Wealthy Affiliate. Um, and I think Wealthy Affiliate, I only got into this affiliate marketing, online marketing, whatever you want to call it, uh, not that long ago. Um, and, you know, I stumbled across Wealthy Affiliate while I was, I think I was Googling for home businesses or how to start affiliate marketing, something like that. And I came across Wealthy Affiliate. Um, and it really has, it, it's taken my business knowledge and, and business expertise to the next level. Um, you know, as I said, look, if, 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 if you're thinking about getting into, into affiliate marketing, I'll, I'll, I'll leave the link down below for you. Um, and, you know, hop in and say hello to us. And, uh, yeah, um, as I said, it, it, it really is something that's, um, it's changed, changed how I, how I've always thought of, um, affiliate marketing. Um, so yeah, look, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please hit the like button down below. Subscribe to my channel. 
Um, and uh, as I said, see you next time. Bye for now.